the world's biggest dance music festival. It is back here in town. It's the Electric Daisy Carnival. Oh. The quiet before the storm. Getting the group together right now. And then off the EDC, day one, Friday. Yeah, gonna be heading out there in a uh, helicopter and uh, be sitting out there, I think they said like five in the morning, I can't leave. Marshall said, I am in it to win it, so let's go. No! Day one, you ready? Oh, I've been ready since 1986, baby. Let's go. In the today in the Titan Lounge to give you guys a great Titan tip and that slow and steady wins the race especially when gaining muscle and not want to get injured. You definitely, think, definitely. If you guys are momentum lifting it's very bad for your joints, bad for your ligaments because if you're catching the weight and what I mean by that if you're letting the weight drop and catch it to come back up it's bad for your ligaments and again like John said slow and steady always wins the race. So if you're looking to gain quality muscle Slow it down, go lighter if you have to, don't ego lift. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's that's pretty much the way that's I right. train. Um, a lot of guys use the old school method where they're just slanging and banging. Yep. That looks good for a video. It's great, you know, to get motivated. But in terms of staying healthy yeah. and giving your muscle that quality look, slow, steady, and contract at the top of it. That's right. Time under tension. Yeah. This is exactly. another one that's always right. preached out there. You guys should follow us, I promise you guys. You know, you'll slow down on your injuries too as well, and probably gain a lot more lean quality mass when you're doing it like this. Feeling the contraction, mind the muscle connection, that's what it's all about. And especially with Hercules Potion, we got to inject that before we even really start working out. And that's definitely a game changer. So we're gonna see us start lighting things up and do what we do here and show you guys some of our exercises that we like to do for, I think biceps and maybe a little bit of triceps in there. Always good to catch a quick arm pump for our show. Oh, yeah. This is the pre-show pump, right. so we got to get a pre-show pump. The ECA is kicking in, the Hercules is kicking in, so we're going to bring this full right, right into the show, 2 p.m. Titan Lifestyle. It's going to be a good one. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Big Drew. 
Preacher curls to start off. Look at that. Got a Hercules potion before this, a little EC action. Negative, same speed as the parlor. You're going to probably get way better results and less injuries. And there's no good to be putting all this effort and all this time and build up to a certain point just to be dumb and do it the wrong way and at that point hurt yourself. Not anybody can get injured, but at that point, I'm going to start off. Post instant gratification. Instant gratification. And anti fatiguing too, yeah, so. Right now, Big Drew is doing some rope bicep pull downs. You can notice how Drew is going through each one, slow and steady, making sure he gets full range and full contraction with his muscles. Whole point is to be disciplined and focusing on what you're doing. When people go into the gym, sometimes they're distracted about what's happening in the day, what's on their Apple iWatch, the phone. Best thing to do is to stay concentrated and focused. Anything I notice too on the ropes, you always want to try. Elbows as close as you can in, not flared out. Use the lap of the foot there, sides. You mean pause and hold it, I guess, sometimes to hold it. Doing the last three or five reps. Push that blood in there. That's how you do it. It's always good to have different variations of these exercises. So, you know, the best thing about Hercules Potion too, as we're going through these exercises, is uh, obviously the instant gratification. 
which is the vasodilation and blood flow from the arginine and the L-citrulline. And then at that point, he's got ornithine in there too as well, which is like almost like an anti-fatiguing amino acid. So he's being able to do more strenuous activity. The goal is, is to be able to do more and more over time, right? And then increase in weight over time. You don't gotta go with dramatic leaps and bounds, but the whole point is to get the result and to keep progressing. So, you know, with the instant gratification, you're gonna get that pump. If you're vascular, you're gonna get even more vascular. You're gonna light up like a Christmas tree and it's gonna hold. So that's the best thing about it. There's other over-the-counter supplements they have L-citrulline, arginine, all these good things. But it's not got the exact same transportation method as Hercules Potion where it's an injectable. Transportation rate's better, absorbency is better. And it's like 30, 45 minutes, you do a couple sets. You're gonna look insane or way better than you did. I promise you. Um, so that's something that I get out of it. And it's got all different types of things like glutamine, all this other stuff for recovery, liver protection, uh, joint lubrication, uh, immune system building so that's just some of the different things that you'll get from it benefit wise but mostly everybody focus on instant gratification from the pump more strenuous activity right off the bat So I think it's been a pretty good pump. Yeah, it was a good pump. Again, it's going to stay. You guys see us still the show. It's going to be an hour from now. The pump's going to stay. So, yeah, ready oh, yeah. to go, ready to eat, ready to. Let's do it. Get ready. Thanks for watching, guys. What's up guys, Johnny from Titan with the family, my wife Sharice, my son Peter, and we're here doing the movie review, tight medical style, just for you. So this week we're reviewing The Flash. And The Flash has been an awaited movie for the last two or three years, got delayed because of the pandemic, and then reshoots and all this good stuff, they're waiting for a time for the drop. Finally, they gave it to us. Now, The Flash has been hyped up really, really high. You know, when I went to this movie, I thought, man, this is going to be the best. They were, you know, featuring Michael Keaton, they had Ben Affleck in it. As a Miller's coming back as a Flash, you know, he was in Justice League and all the other movies in, in, in between. So at that point, you know, I was really let down by the movie. You know, this is probably, you know, one of the biggest letdowns of the summer for me so Aww, far. Aw, he was really looking forward to it, too. I mean, I'm a huge, huge comic book guy. And I'll tell you what, Flash definitely did not get his justice in this movie. <laughs> um, and Arson Miller, you know, even with all the stuff that happened outside of this movie, he just didn't do a good job, I don't think, as far as the acting and coming through where he should have as Flash. Yeah, he should have just remained silent like he does in all the other movies. He really didn't have a lot of lines in the other movies. I mean, he talked here and there. great, but though. He should stay that way. I think, you know, they, they should have kept that, that line. But, you know, this really shows out that they should not have used this character or maybe even exactly. trash the Flash. Oh, boy. We'll, 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 wow. We'll, we'll, we'll see how John good this movie John is so does. upset. We'll see how good it does. Now, listen, you're going to get a lot of you're gonna get a lot of money right up front in the first week or two because, you know, people are just, they're, you know, they're diehard DC fans. They want to see it in the last part of the Snyderverse. They want to see, you know, Batfleck. They want to see Michael Keaton come back as that iconic character of Batman. And, uh, you know, you want to see The Flash. There's a lot of Flash fans out there. So, you know, this is going to definitely hurt some hearts. And maybe, you know, to a degree where they're going to be really upset when they walk out. But, like I said, first week or two, we'll see how the, the money runs. And then after that, we'll see how fast it dries up. Just mark my words right now. Mm. So, for me, a movie review, star-wise, I'll give it a 3.5. The best scenes in the movie were the Batman scenes, so get ready for those, but they're not that much, so, you know, take what you can get from the movie and, and enjoy it. Um, but, you know, other than that, man, you know, that, that was a flash for me. What about you? Um, so, yeah, my review is going to be a 1.5 star. Oh, uh, that's the lowest ever, I think. It is. I type medical movie review. <laughs> <laughs> a 1.5, um, and uh, it's because Ben Affleck was in the movie, and the beginning of that movie was awesome, the first five minutes was great so that's another tight medical movie review just for you from the titan family the original to you guys we love you and we'll be back with another movie review very soon
What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, me and my beautiful wife here, we're going to give you guys tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully help your relationship or your future relationship and make sure you guys don't make those mistakes that maybe we've made in the past maybe. or some of our people or friends or somebody we've heard of. So at that point, we want to make sure you guys are getting some good advice here. Um, and this week, it's a good one. It's talking all about teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Definitely does. 100%. Teamwork goes in every avenue of life, pretty much. Um, you know, whether you're in a relationship, right? And you're in your job, you probably work with team members. Um, if you play sports, you have team members there. Um, so at that point, like, it's a really important thing. And even, let's talk about relationships. Teamwork is very, very important. And the reason why is because you guys are essentially a team. And you guys are going to work together no matter what it is. Or you it should. should. <laughs> if you guys you aren't should. working as a team. Yeah. And you a lot could. of people don't. Yeah, man. Um, you know, I, I, I see a lot of problems with it because people are still, you know, when you go into a relationship, you're an individual, right? So you're the I in team, per se. But when you go into that team, that's when you guys, you know, come together you guys start collaborating, you guys start planning things, you guys start doing these different things together. Um, but some people don't get out of that individualized situation in their head, I guess. Mm -hmm. Or, the, you know, because maybe it's a career thing. Yeah, I mean, they might have to hold everything at their job, so maybe they're just used to doing that. I know me personally, like, you know, I guess once I get in a certain mode, I have this, like, mode, and it just stays on all day, right? And some people can't turn that mode off. It's kind of the same thing, I think, you know, yeah. where let's just say they have to hold the burden at, at work. They may not really let go of the, I am going to make all the decisions right now, right here, without making a team decision when they go home. Right. I mean, it's you know, common, I think it is common, you know, I mean, but even in the light of where some people, they just, they compete with their spouse. I mean, and they shouldn't be competing with their spouse. If you guys are married for sure, a hundred percent, even if you guys are in a, a dating relationship or girlfriend and boyfriend type deal, um, it shouldn't be who gets the best of who. Right. right. The only time that that actually works is when you guys go to Dave and Buster's and then you really do compete oh well, yeah. <laughs> you know how many are whoever gets the most baskets <laughs> whoever okay. wins the mario kart <laughs> then you compete okay outside of dave and busters no competing it's okay it's to have some, some fun competition in games <laughs> but you know in all seriousness when you guys are doing serious things or you know you guys are making serious decisions that's when the team comes into effect and now one team member might be better at one thing than the other right but that's where you guys utilize each other's best of skills and make the best of these situations, scenarios, or your future planning. I mean, because that's what it's all about. I mean, team members come together, whether they like each other or don't. Now, if you're in a relationship, hopefully you like that you team member, Kind of have right? to. You know, even, even if you think about, like, let's say separated couples and stuff, right? Yeah. You guys have to work as a team for the kids. Yeah. And a lot of times it does come down to, like, kids, right? Yeah. So you should work as a team when it comes to making decisions for the kids. Yeah. You should work as a team to make things happen. So making things happen goes on many levels, right? So, for instance, I'm going to use me and John's. This is a very recent thing for us making it happen at the office, right? Let's just say that there's some things that need to happen at the office and we need to make it happen. And both of us need to work together as one because we're stronger together than individually, right? right. So we work together as one to get the job done and get it done extra, extra right. right. You know, so you do the same thing. You apply that same exact concept to, you know, okay, let's say you got three kids, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so you're gonna go to soccer, I'm gonna do basketball, we're gonna meet up, we're gonna do dinner at eight. You know, like, and then you're working as a team, so everything gets done, right? Same thing when it comes, let's say it comes to house chores, right? And let's say that, you know, you've got this whole slew of laundry to do, right? So your husband's ever so kind of to say, listen, you know what, honey, I'll go ahead and I'll do the dishes. Just knock out those eight loads of laundry, right? But it's, you're working as a team to get the job done. So ultimately, regardless of what you guys do to make it get done, it has to get done, right? It's not, it's not going to do itself. Right. So you guys have to work together. And believe it or not, when you work together, not only will you probably get it done more efficiently, 
Um, but, you know, it's a little bit less seamless if you're working together as a team. Everybody's on the same page. You're communicating. But teamwork is, is huge. And this comes financially. I mm-hmm. mean, that's the same exact thing, mm-hmm. too. Making sure everybody's on the same page financially. Mm-hmm. Teamwork. You know, uh, let's say you want to put together a savings account, right? All right. From your check, 100 bucks every week. Your check, 100 bucks every week. Guess what? We have money going on vacation at the end of the year. Teamwork. This mm-hmm. is teamwork makes dream work. Going right mm-hmm. back to it. Mm-hmm. You know? I agree. I mean, you know, when you're working as a team, you're going to be able to accomplish more things. Even if you divide and conquer as a team, right? Like she was saying, like, you know, you take her to soccer practice, I'll take him to baseball practice, you know, and we're working as a team to accomplish this. Um, it's a lot easier. There's less friction because you guys are on the same page. If you guys are on the same page, you guys are not going to be working as a team very well. Better get on the same page. That's when you guys, yeah, <laughs> that's when the communication comes into play. Communication. And we always come back to that because it's a very important one. I mean, you know, we covered every episode because it's really, it's key. And teammates communicate. Right. Whether you're on the basketball court. Even on the floor, basketball court, right? right? They're still doing something in the you know, back or like, they have it set up. Hey, pass me the ball or hey, I got a pick coming, you know. Or they got a up. wink or something, you know. Whatever it is, yeah. They <laughs> communicate in these ways to let their team member know what's going on so, you know, they can adapt to whatever the situation is. Right. And that's really what it is. And I know before we've talked about, you know, your own little language, your own little things to yeah. let your teammate know or your, your spouse or your partner a know. A nice kick under the table works well, too. <laughs> Maybe that, you know, we need to get out of this situation. It's easier to read your teammate. And, you know, going along with the teammate thing, when you're doing these things together, it's bonding. Mm-hmm. It's bringing you guys closer. You, you don't guys, even realize it, but you don't. it really does. You know, you have no idea. And then you can look back at these, you know, situation scenarios. Maybe they were bad ones at that time. And you can sit back and laugh at them now because you guys got through them. You guys got through them as a team. Accomplished And it. you guys accomplished whatever task it was or goal or you had to get. overcame it, right? Yeah, for sure. It's mean, huge. I, I, I think that's, a, that's definitely the thing. You win together, you lose together. Yeah, right? it's not an individualized thing. Because, I mean, not. ultimately, if you guys really are a couple, right, and this is what we're talking about, relationship goals, yeah. it, it, what one does affects the, the other. For sure. Regardless, if For you sure. think it does or doesn't, it might be mentally, it might be physically, it might be emotionally, it might be financially. Either way, you look at it, you guys are bonded in all of those platforms. Yeah. So you guys have to make sure that you guys are working as a team or it's going to affect one or the other. And, right. got, and I mean, that's the best way to do it. You know, teamwork, communication, right. huge. So, you know, this is for mostly couples that are together, right? Because they're already together. They've already bonded to a certain point. They're already on each other's team. You know, if you're single, right? Because there are single people that probably watch this too as well. <laughs> you know, at that point, when you're looking for a partner, look for a good teammate too as well. Right. That's somebody that's interacting with you, communicating with Responsive. you. Responsive. And that's not something that might happen in the first two dates, but uh, probably not. You can you can d- definitely tell within I, I would say the first month or so of like, you know, this girl or this guy is going to be a really good teammate. They, you know, they include me in things. They're bringing up good points. They're trying to help me as well as me help them, and not just a one way street. Right. You know, there's a lot of relationships and stuff like that, or people out there where it's a one way street. Like. Right. You know, one person is doing everything, breaking their back, um, making things happen, where the other one kind of just, you know, just enjoys the ride, you know? Yeah. Um, and that's not a teammate either. It's you like know? a dead weight. Exactly. You don't want dead weight or toxicity. And you're only, what, as strong as your weakest link? Is that what you normally say? You're saying? only as strong as your weakest link. Yeah, John said right? that all the time. Right? The chain or the chain's going to break. Right. So, you know, if you got, you know, a great team, and, you know, let's talk about our office here, right? We've got a great team. But I always tell Sharice, like, you know, that one person, she might say, oh, you know, this person is probably the weakest here. I'm like, well, your weakest link is your, you know, essentially what's going to make us fail here. So right. we got to make sure that that chain is strong, too. That link is fortified. Um, and the relationship is the exact same thing. Trust comes into play, too, as a teammate. you got to trust your teammate. because yeah. you know, Then you got to come through on the other end, though. Yeah. You got to follow through. Absolutely. Like, you know, if you say you're going to do something, then do it. And, you know, it kind of goes back to, like, you know, I, we came across this other couple. And I think that, you know, a lot of people, like, the going back to the single people, you know, if you meet somebody. I do think, I really truly believe this, and I feel like there's a lot of people, because it's 2021, you guys don't even give yourself an opportunity to try to see if it's really going to work, right? right? You just kind of, it's jump and go. Yeah. Jump and go. Yeah. Jump and go. Go to the yeah. next. So if you see a light somewhere in there, right? Just maybe you'd be surprised. Like you would be surprised if you truly love somebody, right? Mm -hmm. 
how many things you would possibly change for that person. Mm -hmm. And that change could make them a better teammate, yeah. right? So for instance, when I met John, I used to smoke, right? I used to smoke cigarettes, two packs a day. Terrible. I know, I know. I, we're all human, right? So, you know, he's like, uh-uh, I'm not having this. You're not smoking any more cigarettes. You're done. So I'm like, um, uh, I mean, I guess I can give them up, you know? <laughs> Obviously, this has helped my health immensely over the years. Immensely. You know, I don't sure. smell terrible, you know, all day okay. like an ashtray um, because that, that smell smells terrible. Now that I'm not a smoker, I can really smell it, right? Yes. And now it's not even cool to smoke, right? Remember back in like 1980, it was kind of actually like it was cool at that time. You know, I guess you could agree to disagree. But anyways, this is what I'm saying is you would make a change, yep. you know, to be a better person for your significant other be a better teammate whatever that change might be i'm just mm -hmm. using that as an example mm -hmm. but you'd be surprised so if you if you really really care for someone or you think you might really really like this person or you might possibly have future love for this person or you might see really good good stuff in this person mm -hmm. you could mold this person into being somebody that you really really truly can be with right. sometimes you just have to give a little effort it's true you know, it's definitely true. A little effort goes a long way. I mean, you know, even teammates, like I said, that don't like each other. Let's say when you apply this to a relationship type deal, you guys are fighting about something. But when you guys are out there in the game, right, out in public or out in an event or whatever it is you have to go do, that's when you guys pull together as a team. You guys do what you guys got to do. get the job done. Right? And at that point, you guys can go back to the conversation later. You can fight later. Uh, <laughs> <and> hopefully <laughs> clear up whatever the issue was, you know. Um, that's really what it's all about. So... Now, all this is about is is being a better couple, mm -hmm. being a good team member, coming through, following through, following being responsible, through. being trustworthy, right? If you say you're going to do it, do it. Do it. Okay. Do it. Help out. Make sure, you know, you're making your teammate better too as well, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's what it's all about. So, I mean, this is just one great tip from me and Sharice that we've learned through business, we've learned through relationship-wise. through business. Um, through business you do, because me and Sharice are connected like 24-7. So. Literally, we, I mean, business together and we're together all day. All day. So I mean, so, it, you know, really gotta find that happy medium. You do, you <laughs> do. And when you have a great team member, you'll wanna be around that team member all the time. The I know, just so much fun. If you got a bad one, then it's gonna be like, oh, you know, I really don't want her. Yeah. So make sure you guys are finding <laughs> a good, relationship with a good team member right because that's going to make all the difference in the future for you so uh this is just another great tip and trick from me and sharice we're here every sunday 11 a.m abc cupid's corner and if you can't check it out here make sure you guys are checking out youtube just type in tight medical center we've got all the shows there plus instagram and facebook it's on there too make sure you check it out Give us a like, give us a follow, subscribe to our channel, right? And give us some great feedback on our Cupid's Corners. And we'll keep bringing you this great content and these great tips and tricks just from me and Sharice to you guys. So we appreciate it. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Boom.